A mini dress is a perfect outfit choice during the hot summer. However, this red mini dress worn by a young female lawmaker has stirred up controversy over the last few days in South Korea. Why? Yu Ho-jung, the youngest lawmaker aged 28, drew public attention last Tuesday for attending a plenary parliamentary session in a red wrap dress. Pictures of her dress heated the internet over whether the dress was suitable for female lawmakers to wear on duty or not. After the session was dismissed, a member of the Democratic Party said, I think Yu had better focus on getting the work done at the assembly rather than on marketing herself. Yu even got numerous misogynistic verbal attacks, and some people likened Yu to a woman serving drinks in the bar. Regarding this mini dress controversy, CNN published an article and stated, Even though South Korea is a developed economy, many feminists still see the country as a tough place to be a woman since women faces discrimination, sexual violence, and harassment in the workplace. The latest dress code spots targeting Yu Ho-jong is still arousing controversy among politicians and citizens. Even though the current 21st Korean National Assembly has the biggest ever proportion of women, which is 19%. However, women lawmakers' attire issue is not only confined to Korea but worldwide. UK's Labour MP Tracy Barbin was also forced to defend her attire in February after her dress slipped down her shoulder as she leaned on the dispatch box due to a broken ankle. She also got harsh comments via online over her off-shoulder dress. However, she faced against the sexism and auctioned the dress for charity to change young girls' lives. Due to the rooted sexism in South Korea and the National Assembly's excessive authoritarianism, many lawmakers were criticized over their attire on whether it was appropriate for the National Assembly. In 2003, former journalist and non-progressive Yoo Shimin also got blamed after wearing a t-shirt, blazer, and white cotton trousers. Yoo ho Jung also said that she had worn the dress to shatter the tradition of lawmakers wearing suits, adding that the authority of the National Assembly is not built upon those suits. So even after the controversy, Yu once again spotted wearing unconventional outfits to work, which included jeans and t-shirts. She added, 그리고 저는 오히려 반대로 걱정을 하고 있는 게 이렇게 흔한 복장의 원피스가 논란이 되다 보니 우리 지금 같이 살아가는 일상 속에서 이제 일상 보내시는 분들이 어, 오히려 자기 복장을 검열하지 않을까? 일터에서 일하기 편한 복장을 입는 것에 대해서 더 이상 특별하게 생각하지 않는 사회가 될 거라고 생각합니다.